last thing to note uh, that really kind of didn't have to do with training camp but happened on day four is that the fact that the Pagulas would like the new stadium to be paid for by taxpayers. Uh, you know, Terry went also went as far to say that many cities would love to have an NFL team. But I saw the Pagula Sports and Entertainment PR Twitter account stating the following statement. The PSE organization has no plans to move the bills and is committed to a sustainable future for the franchise in Western New York. We have begun conversations with local officials regarding government support that is in line with recent stadium builds. Thank you and go Bills. So I'm not really sure what to make of this yet because it just seems like we're getting so many mixed messages and I don't think taxpayers, I'll put it like this, I don't think it's a good use of taxpayers' money for, I think it's like the entire New York State would have to pay for it, right? So, you know, having having a Having a football team is a luxury. It truly is. And not everyone, let's say the whole New York State taxpayers, every New York State taxpayer has to pay for the stadium. Not everyone loves football, and not everyone in New York is, you know, a Bills fan. And if I'm going to be completely honest here, I wouldn't want my money going towards that. I'd rather have it go towards the greater good, like schools, fixing really bad roads. Really bad. Getting Justin out on Justin out on more camping trips. Stuff like that. You know, you, you, you get what I'm saying. I, I just don't think that it's... I don't think one point whatever billion dollars is a good use of taxpayer money. And the threat of the whole Austin thing kind of emerged, and I just don't, I just don't really know if I'm buying that. And if they do move, that's gonna really upset me and a lot of Bills fans. So I, I don't really know what to think. <laughs> so I, I have a couple things here. Um, first of all, I, I don't want to get into this too much until more details emerge. Because we're right, we're right at the ground floor, and after one day, the story's already changing. Um, as far as the taxpayers paying into the stadium, uh, unfortunately, that's part of doing business in the NFL right now. It's mm-hmm. not unprecedented. It's 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 actually pretty pretty common now. Mm-hmm. Um, what I don't like, and I'm I'm gonna have to go on a mini rant here, is that like day one of this coming out it's like leaked out that there's well there's a lot of cities in the u.s that would like an nfl team don't give me that shit i know there's a lot of teams that want an nfl team don't don't start your negotiation with that and that's Mm -hmm. that's all this is right now is a negotiation you know the taxpayers will never pay a hundred percent the bills likely aren't moving but like on day one of negotiations you're like well, you're going to pay 100% or we're out of Guns town. Um, get the fuck out of here. Like, don't bring that to me day one. You have one of the most loyal fan bases in the NFL, and that's not just me talking as a Bills fan. That you Cite your sources across the league and how many people talk about Bills Mafia and the love we have for our team and the dedication we have for our team. And we just sat through damn near a 20-year playoff drought when we were still selling out games, we were still filling the stadium in sub-zero temperatures, showing up to support our team. And now it's like one year of success. Oh, we need to build a new stadium. And if you guys don't play ball with us, guess what? We're moving. Don't give me that shit day one. Bring that in later on or whatever you want to do. But don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Yeah, and another thing I'll add to that is... Initially, I thought that was kind of harsh because the Pagulas bought the team seven years ago or seven or eight years ago and saved us from moving to, you know, Canada or L.A. or what, wherever the, the speculation was driving the 
the Bills to leave Western New York at that time. And then when the Bagulas bought the Bills, they they got Chris Berman to do like this promotional video on ESPN with the Sabres and, and the Bills promoting one Buffalo. You put your name on that whole thing like one city, one ownership, one goal. Like, And then you're going to follow that up seven years later going like hey man like i have no problem about breaking one buffalo like i to me i was just like what bro like what yeah realistic to me like it comes off as a negotiation tactic in poor taste that mm -hmm. doesn't really have much legs to stand behind like like i said you're you're going to this tactic day one like realistically i don't think there's any chance that they plan on moving the team out of buffalo you know, they, they own the Sabres. They've invested money into the waterfront. They've invested into Buffalo. All that. So, like, realistically, I don't see it happening. But, you know, day one of news coming out about, like, the negotiation of how it's going to go. And it's like, well, we could have this uh, this other one over here. Like, don't do not do that. I don't, yeah. I don't like that. We, we could leave a basically... A- a small comp- competition market in Western New York, but you know, if if you don't, if you guys don't want to pay, we're gonna go to a really high market competition in Texas where they have the Cowboys and they have the Texans, and there's college football <laughs> like teams down there yeah. that are actually like really good. We could go there, like in my head, I was just like, why? That's like. That doesn't make a lot of sense. You you don't want to enter a market that's already saturated and you're offering the same goods. Like that's just that doesn't make any sense in terms of economics. And I that's 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 how I looked at it. I, I don't know. I, I'm I'm good on this rant. <laughs> we I don't know we about both you. ranted. We're good. Yeah, yeah. 